Um, after finishing sixth form in 2013, I applied for the apprenticeship within the Office of Police and Crime Commissioner for Derbyshire. The course was Business Administration, Level 3, um, and after applying for the job, I attended an interview with Chesterfield College. A few days later, I then came to an interview at Derbyshire Constabulary Headquarters um, and was fortunate to get the job. Um, I've always been interested in a career within the police um, and I started as a special constable in September 2013 um, so sort of doing the apprenticeship and being in the specials alongside it um, was sort of the direction that I wanted to take. So my name's Ryan Bond, I'm an exhibit handle officer for MC Forensics. Um, I process all the exhibits that come in from MC which is the East Midlands Special Operations Unit. Um, we deal with all murders, we deal with all robberies, we deal with all bowling crime, major crime, serious organised crime, basically any crime. Um, I got into this after six form. I went to complete my levels and then basically I didn't know what to do with myself. So I started looking around and I noticed some of my friends actually went to do apprenticeships. Um, so I looked up on the internet and I found this one which was for the police, which I thought that was pretty good to be with. So I applied for that and luckily I got through. Um, there was 12 of us in total I believe. So we got through and they placed us in two different sections. So I got placed into forensics. I assume because of my grades in that area. Um, I went and did my NVQ which lasted about a year and a bit I believe. So they let me go out so my boss let me go out and do that on my own time. Also, they came in and assessed me and did regular reviews on that. Um, I managed the diary commitments um, for the chief executive and the treasurer within the office um, and sort of provide them with basic administration support. Um, I attend meetings alongside them to take minutes um, and sort of make sure their emails and diaries are all sorted for the next week. So we have it, depending on what I've been broken into, it could be anything between submitting the exhibits to the lab to reporting them out to officers, uh, could be to process them, as in what they need to go for, so that's fingerprints, DNA, it could be drugs work, or it could be uh, fibre work, glass work, anything like that that needs to be processed. Um, a work-based tutor came out to me um, about once a month um, for all the actual college work itself is done and uploaded electronically um, so once you've completed something they can just mark it straight away. Um, also ob observations took place um, whilst I was at my desk which again um, helped me achieve the qualification. They, they came out and visited on a regular basis so I'd say once every three months. Um, we stayed in touch via an e-learning database which was one file. Uh, so you get check that daily. So you got tasks, reports out that she told she sent it. You sent her emails and evidence of what you've done. She came back to you and said, "Wait, this needs better. This isn't. Well, this isn't. You've gone off track a bit here, or that's perfect." And she just submitted it to the assessor. Um, my apprenticeship was for 14 months. So when I was coming to the end of the qualification, a job in the office came up, which was personal assistant to the chief executive and the treasurer. Um, I applied for the role um, and despite being up against competition within the office, uh, going through an interview process and a couple of tests I was fortunate to get the position and started that job in January 2015. Enjoy it? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> uh, luckily there was a job that came available from the merger and thankfully I applied for it, got through that, got through the interview stage and they took me on as a full-time employee. Yeah, I've definitely improved in my confidence, um, even just the simple things of picking up the main office phone, um, as well as dealing with sort of people in the public and picking up a wide range of skills in the office, um, such as organisational skills and communication skills. If any opportunities came available, it would be nice to either go on and do a degree of Open University, maybe, if that came option, because you can do that whilst, because a few of my colleagues do do that and maybe um, a career on a field-based job, maybe CSI, or maybe a progression into the lab finally or something like that. Um, there's lots of different jobs that I could be able to go into from this one that I'm in now. Um, I sort of realised how many different departments there are within the police um, and sort of learn about each individual one and what Derbyshire Constabulary actually do. At the moment I am doing a level four qualification in business administration um, 
I'm not necessarily doing that during work time, but I am making sure that it's done outside of work. Um, and I think just pick up some more experience in the job role that I'm in now and further ahead, sort of look at different development opportunities and something else that I can get involved in.